right folks welcome back to the channel if today is your first time just hit the subscribe button and let's continue to learn so today we are going to talk about something very serious but let me start with the stories so one day i was in the market and i saw a friend of mine approaching me and uh, he was walking in an awkward posture so i was so curious i decided to ask what really happened to him he opened up to me and uh, said that one day he was just moving a patient and all he could hear was oh, Billy. you get it now if you've been in a hospital as a patient a nurse or a visitor or even just lost looking for the bathroom you've probably seen a nurse lifting a patient as if they were in an olympic competition this man. and here's the thing nurses are very strong okay nurses are strong emotionally mentally and even physically but they are certainly not forklifts don't suffocate them every single day thousands of healthcare workers around the world injure themselves while moving patients we are talking bad backs herniated dicks pulled shoulders the kind of stuff that turns i love my job into well i can't feel my spine anymore and the wild part we already have technology that fixes this let's talk about that the more lift the sarah steady the patient hoist and the slide sheets the transfer boards let me break it down so the more lift is like having a mini crane that gently lifts your patient with zero stress to your back it's just very smooth is safe and the Sarah study that's the cool sidekick that lets patients help themselves stand up the hoist they are basically like magic carpets except instead of flying they float patients from bed to chair like royalty <laughs> now hospitals that use these devices see a huge drop in injuries faster patient transfers and way fewer back pains this devices are just so good so yes and here's why it gets serious these devices cost money sometimes a lot of money yeah and while hospitals in richer countries might be able to swipe the corporate card and then just buy this latest top of the line patient lifters and just walk into any wars in ghana nigeria kenya and you see nurses literally carrying full grown adults like they are rescuing them from a burning building no hoist no lifts just sheer willpower teamwork and prayers not to slip a disc so here's a message to the manufacturers we love what you've made they are very helpful but they are not available with us we need them down here we need them in africa we need them in our hospitals to help our patients and to help ourselves as well. At this point, I will admonish all administrators of hospitals, hospital directors, we need to invest in these things because these three things I mentioned, in fact, these manual handling equipment are very, very important for our nurses to use. When we use this, we see fewer back pains, fewer sick leaves and fewer complaints. Manual handling shouldn't be a luxury it should be a standard why should a nurse go home with an ice pack to pat their back no patient should be dragged like a bag of potato as well so if you're listening from a hospital i'll say it again invest in these devices your staff and your patients will thank you if you're a manufacturer please make them affordable and if you're just a random person who is somehow still listening first of all bless you tell someone share this message because lifting people in the 21st century that should be a no-no it's about dignity it's about safety and doing the right things thanks for tuning in today i'll see you later thank you